<laughs> do you feel like she has to come in order for you to be done? Yeah, like, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Got to. Because like, there's really like no point on it. Most crazy. guys don't wow. care. See, it's different. Like, if we leave Indy out of it, then, then you'll really be like, oh, damn, you bogus as hell, Derek. <laughs> oh, good fuck you coming up. Right. What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm L'Oreal. We have a special guest host. Rochelle Ryan. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey little Dirk is back. Hey, boy, Dirk and his mom, you know. Hey. <laughs> you ain't got the You, you can, can say, curse. motherfucker, I'll say it for you. Yeah, what he said to himself. <laughs> you know where you at now. I was delayed when I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> now, Rochelle's our special guest host, and she is a porn star. But, I mean, what is your specialty, hey. right? Because you're a MILF. Yes. Do you have to have kids to be a MILF? No. Okay, because I was one of that. Yes. Wait, I'm confused. That messes it all up, King though, because it ain't it. Mom, I like to fuck. So if you're not a mom, how are you a MILF? I'm a puppy mom. <laughs> okay, okay. I play one in the movies. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know what I always wondered, right? So some of our favorite things in porn is when, like, somebody meets a stranger on the street and they be having, like, the bus and all of that. The bang bus. That, go, yeah. that goes on Chicago for real. <laughs> <laughs> Does that ever, like, and I saw you were posting, like, I want to find somebody or whatever that, you know. It's all set up. I know it's a <laughs> set up. But in real life, has that ever happened? Like, um, you recruited a guy. Sort of, kind of. Yes. <laughs> Pull up one of the videos. Okay, we got you. You want to see a video? What's your favorite? Hey, bro. My favorite video? Mm -hmm, um, that you did. That you, if somebody said, if Lil Dirk's like, pull up one of your videos. Probably anything on like Browsers, Naughty America, anything like that. Browsers is a good site. Yeah, like they're like browsers. the number one porn site. Are they? But I watch it on Pornhub because I'm not paying for it. Oh. <laughs> oh see, you're fucking we like watch free porn over here. Yeah, Sorry. They ain't giving out tokens. <laughs> no, I Lord. think it's weird. Don't you think it's weird like if a woman or if you were to find out somebody that you were dating a woman whatever is paying for porn? It's one thing site? to watch you. But you pay. I'm going mean, to tell you to get that out. Oh, oh, you're going to what? I'm going to tell you to get the account. <laughs> For real? Uh, I think it's I, he, like, you know, put people... put card on it. That's people, different. It's, Hell no. You know, it's entertainment. <laughs> Just like you pay to go to the movies or you yeah, pay you know. to go to a concert, like... You know, I tell people, like, you should pay for your porn, you know? <laughs> okay. You need I premium can... porn. I'm saying, I said, well... Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know... What oh, happened? he know that scene. Oh. Yeah, you know her? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how <laughs> this guy over here is crazy. We might got to pull him up a seat. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. <laughs> he ready to drink. He ready to show his elbows. <laughs> no, we, we, just, we just raised a little different in Chicago. <laughs> and how's that? Motherfucker, never their life seen the poor, real poor as well. For real? You have it? In real life? No. What? Uh, That's you like crazy. a unicorn, you know, girl. Oh, my <laughs> groceries. Y'all are missing out. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a few like porn stars that are from Chicago. Mm. Yeah, you could tell by her coat she getting money. <laughs> <laughs> so, Michelle, this was a gift from a fan, actually. <laughs> Maybe by my shoes. <laughs> well, how does my that shoes work and my out? purse. So they'll just like reach out to you like, hey, I want to send you something? No, a lot of porn stars, we have Amazon wish lists and stuff if they want to... Yeah. It's you like know, Christmas send, every day. Kind of. If they want to send us a gift. I mean, I don't have anything too crazy on there, mm -hmm. so... What's the most expensive thing you have on your wish list? Um... I don't know. Maybe like a gift card to Sephora. <laughs> you guys, we need some type need of a Amazon yeah, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Type of oh, wish list. I need yeah. a gift list. I'm giving out advice all day and shit. Nobody ain't ever bought me a Sephora. Totally you totally should. should. We're making the wish list. Can we make a lip service we wish list? We yeah. absolutely yeah. are. We can. You guys have fans of the show and stuff yep. like that. Be like, hey, like, you know, my birthday is coming up. It's Christmas, whatever. Right. And stuff. That's it's their way Tuesday. to show their appreciation. This is amazing. It's Tuesday and I just see. I think it's cute. Like, a lot of my fans, they know me huge New York. Giants fan. I'm yes. from upstate New York, so when I go out on like you know hosting gigs and feature dancing and stuff, they'll come out and I have a little French bulldog, and they'll bring Is me like what? New York Giants oh, wow. stuff. Oh, you do? Yeah, oh, they both do. I do too. Yeah. Aww, yeah. they're the greatest hey, dogs. Uh, so you probably get a lot of gifts because the Giants did so bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're awful. I need yeah. It's all on gifts. sale. Yeah. They're like, I'm going to get her too. <laughs> right. right. I need the gifts. <laughs> Tell us. Now, I envision if Dirk ever did uh, porn, he would be sucking toes in it. For sure. Nah. For there real? is a guy my in porn mom. named Dirk Huge. Huh? <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> you would be sucking toes in your porn, right? My baby mama only. Yeah, just your baby mama only. <laughs> Have you, oh, has that always been like your thing or just for her? Her. Uh, 
For yeah. real? Is it something like different? Did you just look at oh, I like these toes. These are different. He's got a fetish. Foot fetish. It's just a girl. You just, you know. So it's no, you is clean. Nah. <laughs> a lot of men do have like, you know, a, love feet. I'm into it. I'm in, and I'm shoes. In, like a I'm foot fetish. It. Yeah. And you want to know why? I just learned this. Because the part of your brain that turns you on, like where you get aroused, mm -hmm. it's next to the part of your brain where like if you stub your toe or, you know, really? st something like that. Yeah. Like they're they're so close to each other that you just, I don't know. If Somebody you stub your toe, you get an erection. Yeah, <laughs> it's part of the central nervous system. Yeah, cry. something. You ain't bumped that shit yet. <laughs> Somebody Damn. sent me a message the other day. You don't remember? I told yeah, you guys. Guys are always sending messages like, "Can you send pictures of your feet?" Or, that, yep. that they'll send me <laughs> okay, money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me they too. buy me something feet. off my they wish always list. Always, I will. <laughs> Anytime yep. I post a picture without shoes on, I get DMs like, "Can you send me feet pictures?" I'll put I I purposely won't put mine because like I feel like like girls. Yeah, like girls. Rochelle does and Gigi does. Yeah. I don't like no hoes. No, I'm yes, you do. Uh, I be looking them bitches and kicking them to the side. <laughs> That's what you I do. From Chicago, Chicago. <laughs> you got nice. I be you fucking them bitches and making them suck my nigga dick. Do you like your girls wow. to Jason. like girls? <laughs> do you like your girls, girl to like girls? No, no, no threesomes no, no, or nothing mama, like no. that. Mm -hmm. Your baby mama, not India, <laughs> not India. See, it's different. Like the past, like was different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So before you were at a point where you like the threesomes of your girl to like girl. I don't think there's a guy in this room that don't like a threesome. I ain't never had one. What? He lying. <laughs> he I actually had a guy break up with me before because he caught me in bed with a girl. You never, had a you never a girl. met a porn star? Damn. And you're from Chicago? Sex, He's had a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's ask some questions because I want to ask you some uh, this versus that, okay? If you had to pick, right, pick one or the other. Would you rather have sex in the shower or sex in the car? The car. I don't like people touch me in their <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Your wet ass on me. So yeah, you don't take a shower with India? No, yeah, but it's like I don't like wet sex, none of that shit. Like sex in the shower, shower it is. Yeah, it's way, awful. You gotta dry all the way off. It's like I don't like yeah. that shit. Yeah, <laughs> even if it's not sex, sure. don't touch me. Don't touch me if you wet. Period. For real? Yeah. What like is that. it about that? I don't know. Just like irritating. Oh, and it washes away like a woman's natural like lubrication, yeah. so mm -hmm. it's like raw, like yeah. Yeah, I don't like uh -uh. that. Damn. So you everybody says <laughs> the in the car, car versus yeah. the shower. Yeah. 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 To the car. I'd rather have sex in the Either. shower. I'd be cold too. Like when you get to certain <laughs> angles and shit, you like shivering like nigga. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 oh, I don't want to mess with you. You know what? Guys don't like the shower as hot as we do. Like y'all can't like hear the I like yeah, I like hot. I like to show up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, what about um would you rather have a quick if you had to pick, right? A quickie or really long, long sex, like five hours? Ooh. It depends. <laughs> Sometimes a quickie is all you need now. Like a hot pocket. You know, <laughs> like a Cat Williams. It depends on what type of drugs you offer. Sometimes, <laughs> Sometimes a quickie is all you need. <laughs> <laughs> or if you got something to do. If you like, have something to do, and I got no five hours yeah. you doing all that shit. Like, so everybody uh -huh. says quickie? Yes. And Dirk says it depends on what drugs. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't say quickie. I don't say quickie. I like sessions, but it just got to be the right time. Mm -hmm. I don't really like quickies, though. But I will take a quickie if that's what I have. I ain't turn it down no quickie, but <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you feel like Derek? You have to shower after you have sex. Or are you cool with just putting your clothes on and both? Leaving? I got wash up before and after. <laughs> like a bird yeah. bath, maybe yeah. No shower. Okay, so you do like to shower after sex, but say you got a show, right? And India's like, yo, let's get it in. And you're running late. Will you just leave after, or do you have to shower? The party don't start till I get there anyway, so I got to shower. Yeah. <laughs> they going to wait for me. For sure. <laughs> do you feel like she has to come in order for you to be done? Yeah, like, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Got to. Because like, there's really like no point on it. Most crazy. guys don't oh, care. Right. See, it's different. Like, if we leave India out of it, then, then you'll really be like, oh, damn, you bogus as hell, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck you coming up. Right. Because you can't, you, I think guys only care about that when it's like their girlfriend you or ever, You ever had that, that situation where you call, you text one of your guys and be like, hey, call the phone and say something happened. Oh, uh, shit. you right there with the girl. Then you call, you be like, I'm on my way. That's fucked up. So you have a, a lifeline. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, all right, here's the next one. Would you rather have sex in the dark or sex with the lights on? I want to see. I, I like lights on. I like see. lights off. Because I'm real I confident. See it all. You say you're very confident? I want to see make, every angle. You ever feel like you're making weird faces? 
That's what I don't I give no fuck. Don't you don't like that don't matter. <laughs> I don't be doing no goofy ass shit, but <laughs> <laughs> not that you know of. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I feel like if it's it like felt it. good, don't you just get lost in the moment? Like I don't like. I don't know. I do feel like I'll make like nasty faces, like ugly faces. Like I wouldn't want it Sex to be faces. like. You, be, let's you, keep be, the you like you like you like when girls eat you out more than boys. I excuse me. <laughs> Which one no, you like no, more? no! I like a man to eat me out. Like mm-hmm. that's. I'll say you like girls, right? Me, no. Gigi really oh, does. I'm asking you. Like, with the, you do, Gigi. <laughs> Let's clarify I mean. here, okay? I don't like girls. I fuck them. There's a difference. Well, Sex. then you like them if you're fucking them. Why would no, you No, I don't like don't the like like bitch. Them. I just want her to eat my pussy. Well, what's better, man or woman? <laughs> Who's better at eating pussy? Women. Ooh, mm. I think men. <laughs> Sorry, Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most cheating I ever did. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, enjoy- I'm enjoying it. I'm just having a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so, this Michelle, you say men. Yeah. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I love men. I noticed as soon as I turned 30, like, I like women, but I like women to, like, just, like, warm me up. Like, kiss me, like, grab my boobs, and I'm just like, all right, give me the dick. <laughs> Get out of the way. I feel you, but Get they do eat pussy better, in my opinion. For real? Right. So listen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. He's like, can so you a fucker? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> is she a mom you like to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> she pulled up in the soccer mom van. I don't know and about the soccer, soccer mom the van. I don't know about the soccer mom van. No. But on the milk tip for the porn, we would probably make a really good flick. I'll say that. No, oh, thank you. Because I, put, okay, so cause I t- put two on for the camera. So if she a professional and, and, you know, I'm all in my glory and feeling confident in what I do, I think it's going to make for some good cinema. <laughs> How much they pay? Oh, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. Good living. <laughs> Risha, have you ever done double penetration? No. That's a negative. Yes. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to watch. DP. Really? Yeah, just because I'm not doing it. Right. So yeah. it's great to like see a champ. On that's true. Screen. People like porn that they wouldn't do. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. have, now that's what I wanted to talk about because I was talking about this. There's a lot of shit that happens in porn that I feel like we don't do in real life, right? Mm-hmm. One person in this room said he does do this though, but like, <laughs> oh, porn shit. people always get women always get oiled up, right? I just posted a scene just a second See? ago, all oiled up, <laughs> right? And I feel like in real life, do people oil people up? <laughs> I didn't think about that. Like, I love. I mean, I love coconut oils. It's so good for you. It's safari. safari. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> have you ever Shout oil out done like the oil up? During sex, me, yeah, like oil the girl up. <laughs> oh yeah, I think so. Real, yeah. Hell no. <laughs> no, not you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't want to see you sliding around. No. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Look, that's hers. Let's see. I was all greased up. He wants to see too. Oh my see. goodness, so, so Jesus! It's Christ. just ten seconds. Yeah, show the clip. <laughs> I feel like, so did you think Why about oiling on your feet? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do I have my shoes on? Oh, you can't see my feet. <laughs> so did you think about oiling somebody up because of porn? Because I feel like, why would we just think of that? Like, did you watch a porn and say, that's what we supposed to do? Oh, that just look good. Like, <laughs> it do look good. Yeah, I think like, I might have to try that. You never did it either? <laughs> no, I ain't never oiled my ass up before I put some dick in it. Mm. What am I oiled up for? Because they do I'm it greasy in enough in the inside. I don't need to be greasy on the outside. I feel like though, like a natural massage oils. or something, you could use oil from a massage and probably just go from there, right? Because right? I think it's weird. Oh if yeah, you they just, got like, that massage and oil, oil that's like edible. That's and... what I'm saying. I, I think gave my sister some of that. Take that shit off, bitch. You go what? <laughs> I thought you don't like a girl wet. I thought you don't like being wet. And then, then no, she's oil. He up. said oil. oil. But oil, oil is water. Is two different things. No, if you if you wet and not try to slide off, I then it burn my motherfucker arm. <laughs> oh, you slide, slide right off you. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, I think my ass will look good or oiled up like that. I am going to try it. I'll Coconut oil is the best. I'll let y'all know how to go. Well, she'll tell us. Keep us updated on y'all. Coconut okay, <laughs> oil <laughs> Y'all know I tell y'all everything. Yeah, maybe maybe she'll tell us next episode. Oh, mm-hmm. bye. All right, now, back to what we were saying earlier about meeting somebody, like, off the street. And you said that has happened to you in real life. Like, you've done that. You met a guy off the street and... Not off the street. <laughs> he kind of... He slid in my DMs. That's the street girl. Yeah, it is. <laughs> he slid That's in my DMs. Girl. And then he sent me, I kind of like blew him off. And then he sent me like a really detailed email. And he was from the same part of uh, Virginia where I grew up. And um, so I met him and stuff like that and had a couple of dates with him. He was 23. So I had to make sure he wasn't crazy. Mm-hmm. And um, and then I ended up getting him tested where, you know, a lot of us in the porn industry where we have to go. And then I started using him as, on my Snapchat. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. damn. So you kind of like broke, you kind of hold them out. Yes, yeah. You, you pimped them. You I did. Them yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, Dirk, you seem like a relationship kind of guy. Like, that's just what I get from you. You enjoy being in a relationship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm a so boyfriend. you feel like this is it because India got a part one and a part two. Yeah. I'm a good boyfriend. Uh, I nah. did all the slam, though. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. I got a lot of secrets. You got a lot of secrets, and no one knows them. You ever be nervous that some of that stuff might come out? I don't care. <laughs> the past this, is in the yeah, past. This is the past. Working on the future. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What did she say when she heard the song? Do you let her hear it before it comes out, or does she have to? She all my music. <laughs> okay. And yeah, she ever tell yeah, you I got like a studio change? in my house. She never tell you like nah. change it. I nah. don't like this. Nah. Stop talking about other bitches. <laughs> no, nah, she ain't like that. No, they just throw everything off. Like, no, nah, you can't do that. It's my art. But she don't be tripping about nothing. Like That's good. You said y'all, nothing is going to break y'all up ever. <laughs> so you, feel like, yeah, so you really feel like this is it? Yeah. I ain't going to what's over with. So you can get married? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you feel like is the reason for, like... I did all the party. What did you say? You outgrowed all the bullshit. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. 26, you. I did all the party. Oh, my God. He's so young. That's he's young. Like yeah, it is. But it ain't, it ain't the age. It's like what we've been through. Right, so that's yeah. true too. Really I can feel you on that, going through a lot of things and then feeling like this is it. Now let's put this in order of importance then, and I want to see if there's a difference between what Dirk would have to say and what the women have to say, right? Mm-hmm. As far as importance in a relationship, these five things put them in order: respect, sexual attraction, security, giving you your space, and emotional support. Out of those Ooh. five things, what do you think is the number one, and we'll start with you, Derek, most important thing as far as respect, sexual attraction, security, space, and emotional support? What happened to loyalty? I mean, that's security. I would... Mm. Loyalty and respect. So I think respect and loyalty will go hand yeah, in hand yeah. to me. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. So number one, you would say respect. Loyalty. I mean, respect, yeah, loyalty. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they got to respect you. No, you, you got to respect yeah. yourself first. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want my bitch on the end shaking her head. No. You said shaking her head, shaking, shaking her, her ass. What like, oil on? No it. oiled up uh, ass that you're getting. No, 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 no. Ain't no wrong with it at all. Like if that's what you decide to do, that's what you decide. I'm talking who I call yeah, my wife, my woman. girl. Mm-hmm. It's over with. Right. All right, Michelle. What would you put first as far as respect, Res- sexual attraction, security, giving you your space and emotional support? Uh, respect for sure. And then sexual attraction, number two. Sheesh, what are you attracted to? Um, I don't really have, like, a type. It's kind of, like, just the vibe I get from them. I mean, I've dated everyone, men, women, every color. It's just whoever I vibe with and whoever I like. Mm -hmm. Do you like street niggas? Mm -hmm. Um, I've dated a few. I couldn't say I could see anything super serious happening with it, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Just like you don't want her shaking her ass, you don't want him in the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the equivalent. Right? right? Like, get out the street. Come on. <laughs> I know. I like being single now, though. <laughs> Why? Um, I work a lot. I work, like, <clears throat> 70 hours plus a week. I'm busy. Like, I don't have... I'm busy. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know? I'm trying to work on me and do me and stuff, you know? And, and too, with what I do for a living, a lot of guys would be like, oh, you know, I'm cool with it. I accept it. And then, like, once they really start seeing, like, hey, like, I'm working a lot. I'm traveling. I'm doing this. I'm in and out of strip clubs. I'm working with different guys. And then they start sizing them up. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's just it's too much. I just don't have They're time like, for yeah, it. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like you lost me on the first thing. I don't know like I'm going to do I'm let you know, I'm I'm let you know through the gate, you grass. <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah, Sorry. it's, it's no. tough. You, you no, I don't want to talk over him. Mm-hmm. You got kids? No. No, I don't like kids. <laughs> I'm a puppy mom. I think all children belong in a wood chipper. <laughs> I don't like kids. I've never heard nobody say they don't like kids. I don't like I kids. I think you like the first I like person. other people's like, kids if okay. they're well behaved. But like, I can admit, I'm 33, I can admit that I'm very selfish. Mm-hmm. I don't want to have to sacrifice my time, my sleep, my body, everything that makes me money. No. <laughs> and I think, I think you should have kids like when you're settled and you're in a relationship and you know what I mean like yeah, I you know that. it's yeah I don't want to I see I have girlfriends that are single moms and I just see what they go through and who no <laughs> no well, yeah. let me ask you this. <laughs> could you be with a guy that had a small dick um I was married to a guy that had a small that has small dick he where it was 
Huh? Keyword was. Was. <laughs> but no, that's not why we divorced. <laughs> we divorced for other reasons. Because he was a street guy. <laughs> so. <laughs> was he insecure about it? Um, I feel like guys with little dicks have a certain, like, type of Napoleon way that they act. complex. That's they have a they way they it. act. Then the ones mm-hmm. want to fuck the light off. Yeah, they want to fuck with the light off. <laughs> no, this guy wasn't like that. <laughs> I must have a Turn light off before you go out the bathroom. <laughs> and also, they're very nice. Oh, yeah, he was very nice. <laughs> to me, he was. Yeah, <laughs> guys with little dicks are so nice. No, yeah. I don't think that's true. They, they nice in the beginning. I, in the beginning, and yeah. then when you find out they got the little dick, switch that's subjects. when they's like, they act different. Subject switch. I had that's a guy I'm with an a little asshole. dick. It was very little. A real guy. He was very nice in the beginning, and then he turned crazy, so I killed him, and now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> True story. True story. Okay. You didn't kill him on purpose. Stop doing yeah, it. Okay, it was an accident, but okay. yeah. <laughs> so first right, so, for you would be sexual attraction. No, respect. <laughs> respect. Sexual attraction, security. You said what? Respect, for sure. Respect. Okay, so yeah. everybody's pretty much saying Yeah, respect. everybody's mm-hmm. going to say respect. But I think for the second thing, I wouldn't say emotional support. I would say communication. Because mm-hmm. I feel like that's very important. I feel like sometimes yeah. we be forgetting about that. Or, like, we just take it for granted. Because I feel like if you cannot communicate with, like, how you feel in a, any situation with a person, you cannot coexist. Like, I agree. it's going to be somebody feeling a way or the other person feeling another kind of way, and it's just going to take a toll. Mm-hmm. So I feel like communication need to be up there with number two, one, or somewhere up at the top. Yeah, because people always act like women play games, but guys play games too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody play games. Yeah. Yeah, it is a it's game. It's never like a f- you or me. It's like everybody just play games mm-hmm. like in their own way. Like we do things like, oh, he ain't call me. Well, I'm not going to call him. True. Or I'm going to be living my best life so on social media. Shit, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it Tip is. Tight. But it's hard. It up, it's heady. Yeah, that's, that's why you gotta fuck it up because I was like I ain't call your ass either then it'd be two weeks <laughs> then starting not to care for real <laughs> you got a whole new life damn after two, two weeks right? you don't care yeah. for real Cause you call, I'm saying because you'll call one for at night then once you go two weeks you'll be like I don't care if you call or not damn. well it's 21 days to make or break a habit so two that's weeks ain't enough time that's a five days Shit. away. <laughs> don't call me a day away no, <laughs> now what's your most common sex fantasy <laughs> That you would say that you have now. L'Oreal's been having dreams where she wakes up. And th- I knew she was going to L'Oreal been waking up soaking her mattress. Yeah, thinking she had sex. <laughs> That's not true. She getting fucked I by ghosts I overnight. I had one fucking dream. Look at this. One people. fucking dream. One fucking dream <laughs> where the ghost was fucking me. something through the, the dirt. The ghost was fucking me. you and you woke up all wet in your bed. I ain't saying no more no ghosts. Shivering. <laughs> I said I had a dream before when I was, I was masturbating. And I woke up and I felt like, did I really... Do that shit, or did I not do that shit? I so really, you fucked yourself in your sleep. To this day, I still don't know. Maybe I did masturbate. Did you come? In the dream, I did, so I must have really masturbated, right? <laughs> yeah, she masturbated. I didn't feel no kind of way when I woke up. I just thought, like, I must have really did it, because it felt so real in a dream. Okay. Y'all never felt like that? Like, you had a dream that yeah, it felt everybody. So yeah, That's kind of a wet dream. I had too many of them motherfuckers in jail. <laughs> <laughs> But do you come on yourself? The guys come on themselves. Nah, maybe she doesn't know. Yeah, you wake up crunchy. <laughs> crunchy. <laughs> I don't give no fuck. Give me. When you when you come in your sleep, does it wake you up? You be you... know you woke. You be like, if I'm gonna get the motherfucker off, fuck. <laughs> That's how I be for real. You be like, you be half sleep and half woke. And, and you like, be like, fuck, I'm gonna get the motherfucker off. <laughs> you go back. Oh, oh coming on somewhere. What if you fall asleep? Before, I mean, what if you wake up before you come? You be mad as hell. Like, damn, I'm about to pop it <laughs> Just do it for real, then. No? Is that yourself? With me? No, I'm saying you just do it for real, then. I've been, I've been, I'm getting busy. I don't mm-hmm. know I'm getting do. busy with myself. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think you come faster off of masturbation or sex? <clears throat> oh, you talking me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sex. looking at you. Sex. Sex? It really don't matter. You say whatever, I'm coming. It's my man, my man, strong. I'm grown. <laughs> but you ever been embarrassed? See, I, ain't, I ain't one of them type of dudes who be like, I need a pill, man, at the gas station. <laughs> Hell no. I feel like the gas station. That's terrible. I get wow. so hurt. I don't, I don't, I don't even need it? no lotion. <laughs> <laughs> You're 26. That's why. <laughs> you need some silverback. Not not a pill at the gas station. We got to put y'all under that. How many times can you I'm go? I'm straight. I'm, how many times can you go back it. to back to back? Don't be mad. Once. One and done? Well, that's not back to back. Uh, that's not back to back. <laughs> that's, Why? 
Maybe too. Uh-huh. <laughs> we might gotta get you a pill from the gas station. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they think I love them. Shit, that's really weird. <laughs> what about you, Michelle? What's the most times that like, because you've worked with some experts in the business? <clears throat> yes. What's the most that a guy has ever been able to go back to back to back to back with you? Um, I don't know. I usually like to draw it out at least like twenty, thirty minutes. So, like two times I think maybe three I don't know mm-hmm. I'm usually pretty good after like one time that's your three that's how he died <laughs> yeah. oh lord Gigi Man, definitely three? killed somebody three I tried times. to make him come a third time nice and he had a heart attack and he had a heart attack I had sex with a lot of young kids like 20 oh, 22 23 he was 31 yeah. 16 15 mm-hmm. Ew. No, just, <laughs> when you say young kids I was like well I'm 33 so I think <laughs> like 20s like that's young like right, to right. me it is so you think that young kids they are... just they drink a Gatorade and they're good like five minutes <laughs> later they're some ready some lights yeah they're they can see the them Oh, Lord. I got none of that, but <laughs> they're good. What do you think is the best age, like, for men when they're at their peak? Um, gosh, I... Mm. I feel like when guys are younger, they got the most stamina. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's true. For sure. Mm-hmm. When guys are younger, when they eat good, when they work out. Oh, you're a vegetarian now. Yep. How has that changed things for you in the bedroom? I change on energy overall. Like, mm-hmm. on whatever, the waking up side. Like, I never woke up, like, it's like I wake up every day, like, at 7. Wow. I used to be, like, 3, 4, 4 o'clock, all that. That's a huge difference. Yeah, because yeah, I stopped eating meat and sipping lean, like, all that shit at the same time. Mm-hmm. Right. I was what made you do shit, that? Getting fat. <laughs> <laughs> and overall, you just feel better, like, better like, person. Now yeah, it's like, my natural clear. size, I was Your hair like, growing. Like, yeah. Like, 150. Then when I was doing all that shit, I was, like, 180. For real? I feel like I'm trying to think if you look. I never thought you looked big, though. See, now, if you look at the picture now, you'll be like, damn. Yeah, your face looks slimmer now. Yeah, yeah. it does. You I, was you look younger. As, I was fat as hell. My hair grow fast, too. Yeah. Oh, we see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he said his hair grew back in. His hairline grew back in. From Shout juicing? Out. Yes. For real? Yeah, from when we did the detox, he said it made his hair like... Oh, I'm sorry, he said no shit like that. I thought you said me. No, I said oh, MB. I said okay. not you. That's he ain't why I never had no hairline problem. <laughs> That's what happened with Tiger, too. No, no, no okay, no. <laughs> definitely not. No, definitely not. Oh, I thought it was the same. <laughs> now, um, let's talk about falling in love with Goofies. Have y'all ever done that? <laughs> no. You might fall in love with it, not... Not falling in love. You might really like the dick on a goofy yeah. nigga. That's the same like thing. Goofy dick. Right? <laughs> no, I mean, a goofy, no, a goofy nigga might have some good dick, so you just want to fuck him. Despite he, like, if, if the dick wasn't good, then you're not going to fuck with him because he a goofy ass nigga. But then you find out that the dick is good, and now he a goofy ass nigga, and you just. You y'all got Would you continue to have sex with somebody who's a goof? Sex and a relationship is two different things. If we got a fuck ship, fuck relationship, and that's all that you're good for, and that's all I need from you, then then that's what it is. Who's fuck saying shit. I'm trying to be with you? Fuck shit. I love that. I like fuck that too. Yeah, fuck shit. I, I like that. I ain't been in no fuck shit. Nah, okay, right. there's a whole lot of fuck shit going on out here. And you know how the fuck shit start? <laughs> fuck fuck ships shit. start. I, I think shit. it's because with certain women or women or whatever, we don't like to add bodies because I know this happens with mm-hmm. me. So I'll just be like, damn, I know his shit was good yep. and he is kind of a clown. See? But that shit is so good and <laughs> I already fucked nigga him with the good dick. And what I mean by clown is not like he's a, like everybody thinks he's a clown. You I know. think he's a clown. Exactly. Like yeah. it's, sh- it's certain shit that we might have been through that I'm like, he's just. He has solidified he his clown kind of swag, but he can fuck. But the, but dick, is the dick is good. So. And I I can't so put that dick on a better nigga. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. And you're not adding the body. You're just going back to the same old fucking weirdo. Mm-hmm. Well, Jack, do guys think about stuff like adding bodies? Like, have you ever been like, I can't add a body? No. no. They don't think about that shit. Look at that. Guys think about Come adding on. bodies, okay? Yeah. Man, motherfucker, forget how many girls they fuck. <laughs> some girls are trying to keep up with it. Like when two. do you stop counting? I don't know. Who, keep, who, really, who said like, he ever counted? Who, don't say that. Who really like, keep up with that? That's what I'm saying. Like, but when you were but no, younger. But no, that's when you was young. You were like, yeah. man, I had six. Three girls. Four <laughs> girls. And you would forget after that. You were like, fuck After it. four, you was like, oh. Look, look, after you off one hand and just spread. <laughs> <laughs> but if a woman was to say that, nigga would be like, this bitch is a fucking. You know, I feel like we. It's that's that different. whole double standard. It's so different. Mm-hmm. That's how I go. Now, Men uh, are just different though. Mm. You said what's different? Men are just different. It's different. Mm. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's done According for you, y'all. No, for sure. <laughs> so you on our side now. You on yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think monogamy is normal? What's that? Like being in a just with one person one for person. the rest of your life forever? 
No, it's different strokes for different folks. Like I asked some, you. No, nah, relationships no nah, for me, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't got no choice. Aww. What about you, Rochelle? You think that monogamy is normal? Yes. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So you want to be in a monogamous relationship? Not right now. <laughs> Maybe in like be 10 clear. years. <laughs> Not right now. That's why I'm getting to this bag. Yes. <laughs> now, Derek don't know how many people he's had sex with. Do you know how many people you've had sex with? I have no idea. If you had to guesstimate. <laughs> um... Gosh, maybe one, tr- I'd say like a hundred. Okay. Yeah. I thought she Chicago. was going to say one too said, many. You're no, right. one too many. That's that's a good she answer. was like one too many. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a good answer. I'm a, I'm a, that's my answer from now on. One too one many. No, one too many. <laughs> one too many. Don't you got people that you wish you could take your pussy back from? Like I wish yeah. that I can unfuck a couple people. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. So you can't just be like it didn't happen. And then y'all said I if did. they die, you don't have to count them either. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? You know, dead people. <laughs> Unless you kill them, then can't it counts forever. <laughs> can you, Rashad, can you think about who was like the best you ever had? Um, yes. It was a guy in the industry. His name is Rob Piper. He's definitely my favorite. Yeah, he mm-hmm. was the best. What made him the best? Porn guys just know how to fuck. He's huge, too. He's probably, like, 10 inches, like, super thick, and he's just smooth, like, everything yeah. about him. Like, he's sexy, he knows how to talk, and... She's selling yeah. this motherfucker. What's uh, his name? But listen, Rob, is there, is there <laughs> Rob is, Piper. Am I the only one that believes that there's a such thing as too big? That sounds like R. Kelly, Rob yeah, Piper. Yeah, they call that a museum dick. It's good a to museum. look at. A museum. Like yeah, Lexington like Steel. It's good to look at, but I don't want that in me. I don't. Right. It's art. Like, no, no, no. Like, I wouldn't want to, like, have sex with him every day, but, like, you know, I worked with him, you know, for a scene so it's kind of like that's nice like I wouldn't yeah. want him I wouldn't have to have that every single day mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. my life no way it's but like a novelty was, yeah he was such a good lover though yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have the same vagina for the rest of my life so I don't want nobody trying to rip my shit to shreds yeah like it's good when you got the listen whatever, if you but... kill the pussy it will die okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jack right. you ever feel like you love when your girl can't walk or something afterward and she'd be like oh my god you hurt me my stomach hurt that's how she was when she was pregnant <laughs> <laughs> go check on my door in the bedroom <laughs> <laughs> Cause you know sometimes we be putting on too. No, cause when you do that, when you crush shit like that, you just think you just did something. You, yeah, I just had that. Tell that limping, so. gang. <laughs> she going to bed for you call the guys. You, I just had that limping. You, it's like we brag on that shit. I'm she, sure she's really hurt. Right. <laughs> You're like, damn, she limping. She can't go to work. <laughs> no, but it's like that's how we. That's what we brag on, like that type of shit. Damn. Like, I almost killed the girl. <laughs> Gigi really killed someone, though, so. <laughs> we brag on in peace. She Damn. brags on that, too. You ever, did, you, did you ever um, <clears throat> get hurt yourself, like, during sex? Because you know how we be having our issues. But, like, Hell, yeah. What, what happen? happened to you? Being on hard too long. Oh, did it hurt? You just be like, Damn. Like, it's just like a crazy feeling. Really? I never heard of that. Not, like, blue balls. Like, cause I used to do, like, perks. I was about to say, what drug was you on? Yeah. yeah. So I used to do, like, perks, so, like, like it's like when I come, it's like it never goes off. It's like stay hard, For real? but I don't yeah. want to fuck again. So it'd be like it's just hard. It's just there, yeah. and then you'd be like, "Why did I do that?" <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so what do you do when your dick just hard? Later. Go to sleep. Wait up. Just lay there and wait for it to just go down. I can't believe it never goes down. Like how no, I go down, work? but it'd be like it hurt. If I was having right. sex with my much boyfriend, blood flow there. Cause you can, I tell you, came. like it's over with. Like it's hard or not, cause like it hurt. Oh, so painful. Okay, so I'm yeah. not gonna say that. Oh, yeah, pain. What you was gonna say? Cause I was gonna say that if I was having sex with my boyfriend and he came and I, I was came gonna be right there with and attitude, his dick like was you... still hard and I'm looking <laughs> at it, I would probably be enticed to put it in my mouth. Yeah, I something. think I would do yeah. that. Like if I see his dick still hard, I would want to suck it. He probably would punch you in the top. But of if it hurt, then I, like, I can't yeah, do that. Yeah, he gonna fight you. So wait, it hurts so much that you she can't suck your dick after? No, she could do, but it's like nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, like it's <laughs> dust. It's he dead. said one and done though too. Yeah. <laughs> sure. So we gotta add that on the calendar. <laughs> That's crazy. You are vegan now. I feel like you should be able to keep it going. That's the point of it. Back to I don't know. I just never been like like back to back like. 
Damn, you you free. You don't need to say it. But it's different for girls, though. <laughs> it they is looking different. like shit. You done? Yeah, we can go back around. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I had a guy that I was dealing with before that used to be able to go back to bank. Not the one I killed, but. Um, <laughs> not the All one the I 20 killed. year olds I've been but with. But I was about like, to say, he was in his 20s. Yeah, every 20 year old that I've been he with, was it's like, like five minutes. He was like and 20. And they're back and ready to go. Yeah, no, he was like right. 24, mm-hmm. 25. Yeah. And he used to struggles. fuck like a little. <laughs> Energizer bunny. Yeah, like, you're not gonna one nut shame me. No, you can make it. You, like you, you can make it long. Like, you can make the sex long. No, it's I'm like, talking about come and ready to fuck and again. Ready, and ready to again. Fuck, yeah. Like, no, yeah. Not me. Oh, I'm still out to combo. <laughs> and now I'm telling you, like I had like a younger guy as well, and that's how he was. Like he was ready, probably like ten minutes. He's ready, ready, yeah. ready. But I'm not gonna lie. Like at first it was cool, and I'm like, yeah, I like this shit. Yeah. And Why then you I'm like, like on, nigga, I got shit to do. Right. Am I fucking you all day? Like, my show come on yeah I'm like, how many do. times can you fuck yeah <laughs> I didn't even want to try like no I'm not gonna lie it, like it got to one point it was like six times and I'm like oh, how Lord. does he still have come in he stopped him? at the gas yeah. station on the way yeah. nah yeah, yo he, he didn't pills. even know and got one. how that's, you know those pills are fake listen, that's <laughs> how he was like trust me I know okay it was just a lot and too much after a while Cool at first, then mm-mm. yeah. Gotta find you a young bitch to keep up with that shit. Yeah. I ain't Let me there. call my friend. <laughs> yeah. I got shit to do. I got you. Get my flush away. <laughs> I want to give them up, but <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now we have some people that emailed in some questions. So I want to see what y'all think about this. Um, I've been with my significant other for a few years now. My problem is that he wets the bed. Ooh. Wait, P and B? Nah, yo, yes. I don't give a fuck what the rest of At this first, shit. it started off as a here and there thing, but now it's happening frequently. He doesn't have medical problems that I know of. Shit. And whenever I tell him to go to the doctor to get it checked out, he makes it seem as if it's not a serious issue. If we were five years old, I wouldn't find such an issue. But he's five. over 30. It's a shit. huge turn off to wake up with urine on my clothes. Sometimes I come home and our bedroom smells like urine. Also, whenever I bring it up, he gets embarrassed and starts to argument. I feel it's an issue he's had since childhood that may stem from other issues, but I can't take it and I don't know how to approach him about it anymore. Anymore. I'm disgusted. Right? Bitch, yeah. no, <laughs> Get that answer. nigga a diaper. Yeah. We're in a the pen. Uh, put him in a, uh, make him sleep uh, on the couch. Uh, the All right. It's a no. medical condition and he needs to go get it checked out. Nah, right. just stop the nigga from drinking at the five. What is he drinking? <laughs> <laughs> right. Now you can't. Now you can't have no more juice after dinner. You after yeah. Oh, you got juice. No, he got kids. kids. He like, yeah. look, no, nothing for you after five. No, 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 for no more juice after dinner. Maybe put some diaper, a diaper on him or something. As I'm saying, the I think I'm sleep on an air mattress in like the living room. <laughs> Can you I imagine their mattress? No. Ew. Have you ever been with somebody that peed in the bed? Or have you no. ever peed in the bed no. by accident? Pe- yeah. See, that's I what I'm saying. That. Y'all lying. If because my ex boyfriend peed in the bed, he had broke his leg. No, I ain't not, not grown. Oh, this is a if this Hell is a no. one time thing. Like I peed in the bed one time. <laughs> I was drunk as fuck. Like I peed in the bed like. <laughs> he, it was like it was, too. it was like a couple years ago. See, See why are you lying? <laughs> nah, look, I just thought about look. I forgot what we was doing, and I blamed it on my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't like, shit for that. I'm like, damn, I'm like, you say you piss in the bed, man. Oh. Why? I'm now, how did you pee in the bed? Wash up. Hmm. How did you, like, what happened? Were you drunk? Drugs. Mm-hmm. Drugs. Yeah, that's Drug. that's what this shit is. The like, only time I ever peed on myself as an adult, I was throwing up and pissing at the same time. Was I, I there? Couldn't. You might have been. Oh, okay. Why were you there? <laughs> Angela's been through some of my worst days with me. We was in the me. club, I think. <laughs> You I was, don't know. You pissed at yourself. No, we wasn't in the club. Cheesy threw up in a cup in the club. It and kept, kept on partying. Went that to the before. next club. I was like, uh, that's you normal. Sure you I was really quiet too. I was in the corner like, that's normal. Ah. I feel bad for whoever had to clean that up. I set the cup down on the table too. Oh my! <laughs> you drank out that cup the <laughs> next week. You. <laughs> it was plastic. Put Gigi's name on that cup every time. Exactly. She every time she yeah. I remember that too. I was so sick. But the party kept going. <laughs> <laughs> so, L'Oreal, you peed in the bed as an adult? Yeah, I peed in the bed. Um, this was like mad years ago, but I was fucked up. <laughs> like, I was drunk as shit. <laughs> and I woke up and I was like, but I was with the person I was dating at the time. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh, you pee on him, man. shit. Yeah, I tried to make it seem like it must have been him or something. Uh, like, uh, hey, shit, frame if another you piece. Swear, how you peeing you on niggas like, anyway? I just pissed. He in knew the bed. he didn't pee. Maybe he did. He was drunk too. Uh, 
<laughs> he got up before me. That was the fucked up part. Nigga ain't even trying to wake me up. Like, oh, okay. yo, I think it might be pee. Like, he just let me keep sleeping. So uh. that's fucked up and disgusting at the same time. What do you think about that, Rochelle? <laughs> Any peeing in the bed incidents for you? No. Are you a squirter? <laughs> no. I was about to say, because you, if you are, you peeing all over everybody. No, and that is that is pee. Mm-hmm. I've, like, <laughs> fake squirted, like, on set. They've made me do it. How do you fake squirt? They, like... Stick warm water in a douche bottle, and then like you put it in you and make you hold it. Yeah, nice. and then like they'll just put the dick like right there, and then they're the, like, all right, hold it for like five seconds till they get like the camera rolling. Yeah, and then Let just me tell push you it something. out. I That's never a, knew that um, was fake. Porn. I mean, no, no, no. Some <laughs> girls, some girls can like really just do it. pee. Like they just drink a, they'll drink all this water on the table and Pedialyte, and they'll just do it. But I don't know. I have like pee fright. That's like the only thing I can't do in front of people. Oh, like yeah, I, I can't can. even do it in front I of my dog. Like I'm like anybody. Get out of behind here. any car, I behind any dumpster, he can all day. Nope. Listen. <laughs> He's like, I can't. Wait, I'm so I tried to pee I'm on devastated that there's fake Let me tell you. scenes in so. porn. I mean, when, some girls can, like, you know, drink a ton of water and, like, push it out and stuff, but... I listen. knew it, though, because it's, no, too, much. it's, it's to me, too much. It's too much. I'm glad It's too... It's... Yeah. It's, there's this <laughs> trick that I've seen porn stars do on stage when they come to perform. You... You they travel to perform. Bla- they finger their bladder. Not that. You travel to perform, and you you know y'all do your little show, and y- everybody has their own little thing. There's a girl, we all know. I'm not gonna say her name because she's not a friend of the show. Okay. But she came to the club when I was managing the club in Philly, and she took a water bottle and she emptied it into her vagina, and then she sprayed it all over the club. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anybody could do. It. It's just pussy control. Yeah, just hold your. Um, yeah. Hold your I don't think anybody could do that. Okay, I no, a couple of my girlfriends. But that's what that, that. that that's what instantly came to my mind when she started telling the story about the juice bottle, the douche bottle, douche. I don't know that douche bottle because it's kind of the same shit. I don't yeah. want to get sprayed by that. She yeah. sprayed that yeah. shit into the crowd, and they was hype. There are some dudes that open their mouths. They was hype. <laughs> they, <was high. laughs> they was throwing money on her. She was spraying that shit, and they thought it was crazy. What club did you run in Philly? Vanity Grand. Oh, okay. You been there? No. Okay. Now uh, let me ask you this. My now that you've been there, there. Onyx, yeah. I used to manage there. Oh, we've Onyx, been to Onyx. Is we did down. your birthday there. My birthday. Mm-hmm. Now let me ask you this. Give us some more tricks about porn that we may not know because that just devastated me. Yeah. I always was like, they don't get on your ass when you get back. Why you on that server telling all the secrets? You was going down. I don't know. I don't know what secrets there are. A lot of girls work when they're on their menstrual cycle. They just stick like um of. A makeup sponge in them. They boil it in like hot water and I've stuff. I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you can use what it's called like a sea sponge, um, like a loofah and stuff. But that kind of like scrapes the guys like dicks and stuff, and they oh, complain I, about it. I bet. Um, a makeup sponge is smoother. I have um, a friend who's a porn star, stuck? and she told me that they use sponges, and she told me that they just use a whole lot of lube because the sponge sucks up your. I use moisture. coconut oil because it's actually good you for your vagina. Coconut, va- coconut oil is really good for your <laughs> vagina. Like if yeah. you're using like lube, all that like <laughs> scented massage oil flavored stuff that's so bad like you're gonna get coconut a yeast oil infection yeah, and, like, yeah uh-uh I'm like if it ain't coconut oil well, it's not going to be oil she don't need it yeah, yeah. So, do you have sex on when your girl's on her period I do before yeah yeah <laughs> so it don't bother you I have no limits <laughs> when it comes to wait, my wait there's gotta be some limits that you have like what is something that you just won't do no, he ain't touch my ass none of that okay <laughs> that's so she gone. can't eat your butt or nothing hell no Ugh. I ain't with that. Shit. Well, then that's not the no limit. Huh? That's, well, that's, not that's your limit. I got one speed limit then. One speed <laughs> limit. <laughs> Can she suck your down. toes? No, that too. No. Why? Oh, all these limits popping up out of nowhere. Oh, I just, oh, I just, just be something. Doesn't ever do that. Had to go ahead and party with. Yeah. What about your nipples? You like your nipples play with? No, but I don't have no. I ain't I have no problem with if you do it. Then mm-hmm. like, oh. But you know, touch my good? toes and no, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, she ain't tried. She like some it guys love that. Is. Some guys can't come without you. their nipples playing with them. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> don't touch this motherfucker. Five minutes, I'm gone. Not for five minutes. I said, you gonna touch this up for five minutes, I'm gone. <laughs> I ain't gonna take all day to myself. It ain't coming. <laughs> Are there times when you haven't been able to come? Yeah. He is probably. that? I speak to that. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, no. no, you do not fake, fake? orgasms. Oh. Yikes. How do guys we do tour. that though? I don't know. I was on tour. Mm-hmm. So you just like, like, whatever, I'm done. But what was the fake reason behind movement. you fake it? Fake movement. Why did, did you, you see it? his fake uh-huh. movement? Uh-huh. Why did you fake it? it was whack? No, see, it I ain't gonna lie, like we were just like we still like just wild, so it, well 
You know what I mean? Oh, you was just over So it. it's like, on tour, we just like, fuck, I'm just gonna do shit just to do it, just to be like, I just felt like eight bitches last night, just doing shit. And when you got the condom on, and you just, mm. it got it, you don't know if you came or not. Like, eight yeah. bitches, though? Flush it, oh, shut up, I ain't come. I'm finna like, get Let me see that condom. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, nobody would say that. Who would say that? I was like, I'm just yeah, catching that. I hit it with you, scam me. You gotta get out. <laughs> you better get out. <laughs> she got a turkey base thing. Let me see that condom. Let me see. <laughs> I scam me, you gotta go. I'll flush it for you. <laughs> I'm like, you scam me, you gotta go there. She gonna, hold, she gonna tie a knot in it and hold that bitch in her cheeks like a chipmunk. Damn. Oh. damn. God damn, Gigi. Gigi did this before. Tie a chipmunk. Uh-oh, Gigi. <laughs> All right, here's um, one more question that somebody sent us. All right. <laughs> I've been in a relationship for 13 months, and the second half of our year-long relationship has been rocky. Just the other day, my girl gets mad at me when I brought something to her attention. It's a coworker that hit me up saying she needed a ride to work. I asked my girl about it, and she asked, what should I do? <laughs> I let her know out the gate that nothing is going on between us, but she thinks otherwise. I work at a call center with a bunch of women, and I let all of them know that I have a woman, but my woman thinks I have secret relationships with various co-workers. I told her I don't, but she has suspicions. She thinks every girl I talk to, there's something going on. She calls me disloyal and thinks I'm more loyal to other people and other things than I am to her. I suggest a couple's therapy, but she claims we don't need it. I need your help. Can this relationship be salvaged? Should I move on? That sounds like the scene from the movie Baby Boy. Remember? Uh, that? Yeah. <laughs> but like Man, reverse. Baby, that shit up. He, he didn't watch Baby Boy. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> Cause He's she like, worked at a call Jody. center. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said <sell> clothes. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get his homeboy a job. <laughs> but what is your advice if your girl doesn't trust you and don't like you being around other girls? See, he is like way past like. He worked with a bunch of women though. But you ain't got. She gonna take you right back. You ain't got to take nobody to work. Yeah, What's wrong with you? the bus is running. See, that's different. Like. <laughs> I'm not an Uber. <laughs> he need to show her where his loyalty lies. Mm-hmm. So no <clears throat> ride to work for somebody else. It's all types of ways for her to get to work. Why you gotta be kept to save her? Yeah, Uber, yeah, um, Lyft. Lyft. yeah, Lyft. Some Uber. Shit. The what bus, if she the lives train. next door? You got more coworkers. Right. And Why she offers some gas money. What if she lives next door? She's like oh, every. Can we car? If his woman feels like it's a respect issue. And she feels disrespected by him going out of the way for another woman, then he should show her where his loyalty lies. Yeah. But she seems kind of insecure, though. Just because yeah. he doesn't have women doesn't mean that he's fucking everybody in the call center. That's yeah, true, like, too. Yeah. She does seem insecure. Ways, but if dude, she feels that type of way about it and he's worried about her feeling the way, then maybe he should soothe her insecurities. I get what you're saying, though. He said if a dude tried to take. I'm breaking both of their jobs. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not, not that you need this to be ain't taking to pick you up. Well, I guess Trail that. like a whole in front of her. Just to well, show her, like, Dirk, do you have female friends? Yeah, like I call my sisters. Like that was mm-hmm. way before her, and after. Was it ever an issue? No, just they just can't show no sign of like they like me and no shit like that. They can't be like, oh look at you, all vegan and slim duck. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. <laughs> they no compliments. Put, they could put no hard eyes. You know nobody like, hitting on you. Mm-hmm. All right. What about if, say you had a female friend that actually did hit on you, or maybe y'all had something, but y'all just cool now. Would you tell your girl? Yeah. I don't know. I ain't never, I never been in that situation. Because she's not going to yeah, trust so you Jordan, around yeah, that girl, I don't feel like. Yeah. I never been in that situation. Yeah. <laughs> Could you be friends with somebody that you used to fuck with? Hell no. Because I think you're just trying to be nosy with what I got going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Remember, what if y'all just cool and it just didn't work out? Right. I ain't no cool. <laughs> Cause I'm shit on you, so I'm, I'm straight. Damn, <laughs> shit. He lying. No, he's not. Ooh. He's you like not no, shitting I'm, on him. I'm shitting on you with my girl. Oh, okay. Like, there's nothing no like. She yeah. meant shit on you like Biggie shit on you. No, I did not mean. That. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought he meant it's like R. Kelly, I'm R. Kelly a bitch, <laughs> bitch. Like, right. okay. But what if it wasn't a bad ending to the relationship? It just didn't work out. You was too busy. You're you not moved. around. But maybe she lived in a different state. It's just me. I have no legs. You just like no, I'm good. Because I think I'm giving you ups on my girl, so that shit over. That's good. That's you good are good. giving some great answers here, yes. here today. Good job. Nah, this shit for real. Yeah, good nah, ain't no script. Job. This shit for real. Yeah. Nah, I'm just saying, can the men take notes? We see your halo shining bright. <laughs> so, it took you a while to get to this point. Put on my head. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel like it took you a Because, you know, you've matured a lot, obviously, right? And you've gone through a lot of things on social media with different <laughs> women that we've seen play out. But mm-hmm. now it looks like you're like, look, I done learned my lesson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got smarter. You said you got smarter? 
<laughs> you think you're gonna propose soon? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get, you just gave us, you just fooled this surprise. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do it like it back. I'm not gonna do it like it back. That was funny. Yeah. Now, Cause when that India three song comes out, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> that shit better come with a ring. <laughs> Real. So what did she say when she heard the song? No, she heard it. She was in the studio when I was doing it. But what did she like? Did she cry? Was nah. she emotional about it? She was like, she just like, like, she shy. So mm-hmm. she definitely ain't finna do no crying in front of me. Like, I'm no music. Ah, <laughs> but that's sweet though. It is. Nah, yeah, yeah. Like I have in the studio with me, and like I try to have her do the voice thing right there. She, she, had to, with it. she had to go by herself and do the voice memo. Don't look at me. Oh. <laughs> she <had to. laughs> nah, yeah. That's cute. Mm-hmm. Mm. So how does that affect like <laughs> when your fans be hitting you up? Because you have a lot of female fans too. They love that shit. You said they love it. They love that shit. So there's no hate at all, like no. Girls no, that's, like, oh. ain't nobody like you. Always gonna have hate no matter what you do. Mm-hmm. But they love that shit to death. We're we're also in the in the era where. Black love and young love and mm-hmm. hood love is thriving. Yeah. So people are supporting it. You mm-hmm. know, they're seeing the rappers getting married and claiming their women and, you and know, having it. them with them by their side. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's more acceptable now than it has been in the past, I think. And they even got the YouTube couples. Like, that's how Queen Naja started. And um, it's another couple. It's, it's two women. I think one name is Tay and something else. I know this because my niece is. Like, yeah. Yeah, I've I seen that before. You know what I'm talking about? My, my be, niece she, is she be on YouTube watching that type of shit. I just, exactly. She, <laughs> like, she be watching, like, people eat crab legs, all type of shit. I was like, oh. Right. Crunching that's what it is. Mic. It's the craziest thing. They be just getting in the car. So we get in the car about to go pick up from work. And you <laughs> like, that. Two and mi- it, three million views just for shit like that. To maybe 10. Like, it'd be crazy. Like, but it's like a whole, you know, based around relationships and stuff like that. So I think it's dope that people are like embracing your relationship mm-hmm. instead of like, you know how I'd be with a lot of haters. Like, ah, that's my husband, bitch. Well, that's, that's like, mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's for weak man, dude, though. Mm-hmm. Like, if you weak man, you ain't gonna be able to fuck with it. Right. Do your children's mothers get along with each other? Uh, yeah. None of them. <laughs> they don't count. They don't matter. But can you have your kids like around each other? Yeah. Together. Yeah, yeah. Because they better. Because if you play with my kids, it's different. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. you can say what you gonna say, but just don't play with my kids. Mm-hmm. Like, so nobody different. gets along though, because it's a you got a few. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like like nobody's just like oh I'm gonna link up with you so they could play today. My sister talks to him. Okay. <laughs> so you got like a medium. A mediator. Yeah, a mediator. Yeah. I don't talk to him. Yeah. I wonder. It's either it's it just either it's just out of respect, man. A media, mediator. Yeah, because if you like, if you disrespectful and every time it's over with. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, we ain't doing that. Ain't no disrespect now. Then think you run it, nah. So nice. they gotta talk to my sister. It's not nothing cocky. It just. He's just trying to if you try to make it work with right. the kids and you study disrespecting some disrespecting her or me, hell no, nah, right. fuck it's you think you is. It's not gonna work. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's got the back burner. But then sometimes people's feelings just be hurt. That's on you. <laughs> Damn. I'm shitting on you. I'm shitting on you. <laughs> I ain't never bad me no back. So like, I was about five of them motherfuckers. You know what, though? Maybe in a few years from now, they will end up getting along with each other. <clears throat> like, people move on, have their own that relationships. That happens mm-hmm. a lot. Yeah, it does mm-hmm. happen. I don't know. I wish them well. That's going to be a good reality good. show for you. <laughs> yeah. cool over here, this household. But you wouldn't want that, like, for them to, like, at least be cordial. Mm-hmm. At the end, nah, see, I look at it at the end of the day, it's about the kids. We grown, so like, whatever you do, that's your business. Like, don't bring them problems over here. Like, as long as my kids see each other and me, I'm straight. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's talk about the new album, Signed to the Streets 3. You got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of collaborations on this one. So why was it important for you to do that? Because I can, I ain't, I ain't drop, like, a lot, a lot of music in a long time because mm-hmm. I was stuck on Def Jam. And, like, as soon as I got off them, it was like... You're Alamo now. Yeah, mm-hmm. Alamo, so... Like, as soon as I got with them and started being creative with my own shit, it's like started turning that thing back up. Mm-hmm. What was the problem with Def Jam? They know they was doing it. And, they was, and I was young, too. You know I'm saying they was controlling shit. Like, they like, no, nah, try this pop song. And I was like, all right. <laughs> You're like, do I'm thinking, like, shit, I'm trying to bring the millions in. Fuck it, come on. Did and they, was, um, was that their idea for you to date um, Dage Loaf, or was that like a genuine connection that y'all had together? Oh, uh, she was just cool. Because I know sometimes, like, when people <coughs> are on, like, certain labels that have certain management together, something like that, they kind of put uh, that, them together. Yeah, they were trying to do shit like, yeah. do this, do this. I'm like, I ain't used to none of that shit. Like, right. Going over here and doing this, I'm like, I don't know. Shit, same fake. 
Yeah, exactly. That's what I was asking. I do have to say, I like the songs that I heard on this, and I'm like, damn, Dirk sound good. And I guess it is true, like, when you have a label that's trying to tell you to sound a certain way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when they be like, you just do you, just do whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck it, come on. And I just started doing me, and it's just like, you know. That's the whole point. When you being forced to doing something, it's like your your fan, like, it's like we came from, like, the era of, like, drill music, like, street music. So when they tried to change the whole thing, it was like, Fuck is Dirk on? It wasn't authentic, mm, right? Yeah, so it was like he forcing that shit. Mm -hmm. And that's you. You're an artist, so you gotta be creative. So if somebody's telling you, yeah, be see, creative, it ain't what but you, this way. It ain't what you do. How you do it? Like I right. make a female song all day, mm. but now I know how to make it where it can relate to like the hood females, the right classy females. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But they try to make it force like no, only talk to these type. And yeah, it was like fucking it up. Yeah. So they was doing that shit since 2012 to a couple months ago. That's suffocating. Yeah, I was dead out there. That's interesting because you do learn a lot in this business, and it kind of is good sometimes. Like, you learn those things early on, make it, and then you really find out who you are. Yeah, they can't tell me shit. I mean, we got a 41 year old little Duval making number one, you know what I mean? Single. So I think it's dope that you are able to get it out the way, like when you was younger. Now you 26. Like, yeah, like that shit, I could have been gave up. I could have been like, man, fuck it. Like, I ain't right. finna. Fuck this music, I'm just finna do what I do. Nah, I just stuck through it because I know I know what I can do. Right. So when I got out of them, it's like everything yeah, just got better. Now, Rochelle, you made your first porn when you were 21 years old on your birthday. Yes, really. What a birthday. way to bring in your birthday. <laughs> Shit. It what was. made you decide that was like the route for you? Um, I was dancing. I was working at a club in Virginia. And I don't know, I was just, I was 20, I was in my 20s, like, I was just having fun, and I don't know, it just, I felt like it was kind of, like, the next step, and I was watching a lot of porn. I wasn't really watching it as, like, getting Fuck turned it. on, I was watching it as more of, like, a fan. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I planned my move, I moved out to L.A., and then it was just off to the races from there. Mm -hmm. What was it like, your first ever porn? Um, it was exciting, it was just, it was fun, but... You were nervous? No, I wasn't nervous. Um, but it's weird is now I do get nervous when All I'm on set. Are people watching you? Um, no, not necessarily. I saw when you first did your first video. No, it didn't bother me. Um, I wasn't nervous about that. But now I do get nervous. But that's because I've been in the industry 12 and a half years now. Mm -hmm. So, and I realize I'm shooting consistently still about six to eight times a month. But now I get nervous like, oh, gosh, you know, make sure I open up and stretch out enough. And, you know, you're making a product in a multi-million dollar industry for people to purchase, you know, and watch. They're getting off on it and stuff. So that's I think of so many other things that I was wasn't thinking of when I was 21. Because you were innocent when you came in there. So you're just like, I'm that good, let's fuck. Yeah, let's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, right. let's, I came Hands for being down. a stripper. So right. I'm like, let's go, you know? <laughs> like, fuck, I got to hold my leg yeah. up like this for and 20 minutes. And now it's like, you know, you get in like, you know, sometimes I get on the boards and like I'll chat with like the members and stuff. And like, you know, people are mean, man. Like sometimes the internet's like a dark, cruel place. Oh, mm -hmm. hell yeah. Yeah, you Suck know. The Mad dick. losers. <laughs> oh, they'll say like you know just awful stuff, you know. So it's kind of they like, think they run shit, so they be like, yeah. <laughs> they look at it like they nothing. They be like, I oh, suck his dick and tickle his feet. Roll. <laughs> you like, damn, you ain't gonna say that. <laughs> How about um, people being like obsessed with you? Have you had issues with that? Oh, yeah. oh, wow. oh yeah, I've had some total creepers. <laughs> but I feel like. You know, that's kind of why I live my personal life the way I do. Like, nobody, there's maybe like a handful of people that know where I live, and I live in a really safe community and just real low key. Like, you know, I'm 33. I kind of, like you, like, I've lived a wild and crazy life. And now it's kind of like, if I have a weekend off, I'm like, I want to be at home with my Frenchie, like, doing laundry and <laughs> watching Shark Tank. Right. <laughs> what about your neighbors? Has anybody said, like, Oh, hey. Yeah, like, I think one of my neighbors, I'm pretty sure he knows who I am because he's always, I mean, he's just really nice. He's like, oh, like, do you need me to, like, you know, like, rake your yard and do all this stuff? With I'm my like, shirt no, I'm good. <laughs> I got a pizza to deliver you. You want me to come yeah. inside? I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> you need me to fix your car? Yeah. yeah. Good. No, go away. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, you guys tell everybody where to find you, Rochelle, so they can see some of your videos. 
Some of that pussy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Twitter, uh, at Rochelle Ryan, R-I-C-H-E-L-L-E, and then Ryan. Uh, Instagram, only Rochelle Ryan, and all of my accounts are verified. So I just want to tell people, don't, don't get, get catfished. Don't right. be sending, like, gift cards and all sorts of stuff. I don't ask my fans tools. for any of that. <laughs> the guys are like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He started following her 10 You know what ago. I learned today? We all need to do our own Amazon wish. List. Yes, absolutely. You guys should. We, we are. Yeah, I'm you doing should. <laughs> and Derek, we know where you are. What? Because we've been following. No, I'm saying we know where little Derek. We know where to find you. <laughs> sure. But um, make sure y'all get that. Yes, there you Sign go. to the Streets 3 also. That's, um, well, I, I guess it. it's out now by the time this yeah. podcast mm-hmm. comes out. So make sure, sure y'all pick that up. And you've been putting out music from there that I really, really like. So Appreciate it. I think that's going to be dope when we hear the whole entire album. Right. And Better listen. Be listening. Doing all that freaky shit in here. No, absolutely. <laughs> he's like, go on fuck to that shit. No, <laughs> I know Dirk got some home sex tapes, so I don't know why he in here trying to act all innocent. With me? Yeah. I hear this. I'm just, I just, I changed. <laughs> you said you changed. I was used to beat backs in, like. But it's nerve wracking, right? Like, for you and your girl. For- shit was fun. Like, now I just be like, you can be one of, I ain't gonna. <laughs> That's how it be. I know you and your girl got some tape, but you but got, I got a lot of, I got a lot of savages. Like, I like a lot of guys that's, hook up mm-hmm. that's not me you like look I'm just gonna watch them do their thing I've been there done that it's like, I, it's like I'm selling the guy I'm sending he pictures he came in here with a savage mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he had a deal right now he's really not he's never um, had a threesome <coughs> he's never met a porn star <coughs> but he had he's a lot of sex but he said he had a lot of yeah. sex he had a lot of sex <laughs> he said a lot a lot a lot a lot, lot. what's your mm-hmm. wedding gonna be like I don't do like crack, crack. huh crack, crack. me I do the most. Mm-hmm. I don't do like some like an island type shit. Mm-hmm. I knew you was gonna say that. But I, don't, I ain't inviting anybody. That's the I thing. knew he was gonna say that too. Private, small destination. That's just how yeah. I see you. Family, your personality. Is, yeah, that's what it is. We'll come do the podcast from the wedding. Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> recording like, live, like, the like, party, like they do the NBA games. The bachelor <laughs> party. And now, <laughs> we know you only came one time because you can't go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> she got her yeah. shoes on. I could tell he sucked her toes. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the reception. Only let us here. <laughs> she walked in the sand. He ain't talking. <laughs> um, All right, well, y'all, thank y'all so much for joining us. It's lip service. For sure. <laughs>